So what's going on? Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Can you hear me all right? That's awesome. So did you just come off of Heart and Hustle's uh, live stream? How's the screen printing coming along, Cheryl? Ah, so what are we eating today? Tacos? Everybody seems to talk about tacos. We're just waiting for a couple more people. I think they're still on that heart and hustle giveaway because he's still on live. You know what? Speaking of drawing screens, I draw my screens in the garage and I, I know I think I think you lived in an apartment, correct? I just try to keep them, you know, out of the area. And what I do normally is I just put I got this big piece of cardboard and I just lay it on top of like two two by fours and I put that cardboard on top to keep it dark. And so far it's worked great for me, but I, I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, you could do that also. But, you know, when I went to Juan's shop, he was showing me when he was um, doing his screens. He didn't actually turn off the lights. He said that even with the lights on, it's got to be on there for a certain amount of period before it starts to affect them. So, I, you know, because I watched him. He did a whole screen printed in front of me and everything. Also made fun of me, but <laughs> it is what it is. But I, I, I saw him. You know, whenever he burned his screen and everything, and he he did it in the light. But I know on the like the emulsion type, I know you want to try to dry them and everything. So um, as long as they're in a dark place or there's no light getting to them, and they dry correctly, I think you should be fine. Ah, Ramon de Cholo, well, did you win? I don't know. Did you win on Heart and Hustles giveaway? Man, his giveaways are long. I was like, hurry up, dude. I need to do my giveaway. Yeah, me neither. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Now, I won't probably be on here very long like some of the other giveaways. But as you're talking, I'm writing your name down, and I'm just going to put them in a, this little container right here. And we'll go from there. So bear with me. But if y'all have any questions, anything y'all want to ask or what I'm giving away is I started the sublimation and I got these bottle openers. And I thought that was cool, but I don't know if y'all can see them. But this is what I'm I'm giving away. And like I said, I might be generous. I don't know if you can see that that 100 per winner. I thought this was the neatest thing ever. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be giving away today. I mean, the hardest thing they say is reaching 100 subscribers. So, we'll, you know, I appreciate everybody that subscribed to me and ding the bell notification. So hit this video, give it a thumbs up, like it. 
Um, if you know Ramon De Cholo, he does uh, embroidery. So hit his YouTube channel too. He's got some cool stuff going on. And he did Heart and Hustles hat. And I don't know if y'all just came off of Heart and Hustles giveaway. Cheryl, um, my garage is dusty too, but it seems to work. Just, um, just use a broom. Just use one side of the garage there. So as y'all are commenting, I'm going to be cutting y'all's names out and putting it in the bucket. No numbers. So Ramon, don't be hitting my feed with all these numbers. I saw that last giveaway. Number seven? No, you lose. Ramon, I need to hit you up and see about getting a hat done for me. I really love that video that you did with Juan and um, Liberty Graphics. Anybody seen Waldo yet? Jimmy, what do you got going on? Cheryl, here's your name. It's going in the bucket. Yeah, my garage is hot, too. My wife keeps telling me, you need to make it work or figure out how to Put an air conditioner in there. Jimmy, your name's going in the bucket. Ramon de Cholo, your name's going in the bucket. Waldo, you're not here. Gina, hey Gina. Welcome to my live. Everybody say hi to Gina. What is XB, Gina? Extra bright? Is that what it is? I'm extra bright. A thousand subs for what? To go live? No, they only let cool cats go live. Gina, you in the bucket. Gina. You, you can go live. There's a little button, I think, that you can hit. on It, it says go live. No, Gina, you didn't win. Not yet. You might, though. Might get lucky. There's only one, two, three, four, four of y'all in there. So y'all all might get lucky. We'll see who else comes up. It didn't let you. That's weird. I just went up there and clicked live, and then I hit that beta beta video, and then it, it came on like that. Ramon the Cholo, what are you talking about? No bed, just your press. Gina, yes, you need to do it live when you get 500 subs. Wait, you're not at 500 subs yet? You have a press in your room? Oh, that's where you press. Oh.
Thrift Beast, there you are. Sorry I was late. Here's your name, Thrift Beast. You're going in the bucket. In the bucket. Cheryl, I usually just leave it on for the entire night. Like if I do my screens, usually in a day, and then the next morning it's usually dry. Just depends on how hot your, I guess, well, my garage is pretty warm in there, so it dries pretty quick. I mean, you can, you can tell whenever it's dry. So how many of y'all were listening to Heart and Hustle on this giveaway? Hold on, Ramon. Don't leave yet. You can, uh, that's why they make microwaves so you can um, nuke them for later. I wait a couple of more minutes. Didn't get to. He's still on. If y'all want to go watch him, I think they're gonna give some code away. But uh, I think I think he gave it in the last live. Oh, y'all like the cap that um, Juan gave me with Liberty Graphics when I went to Waco. Yeah, I went to Waco, and all I got was just this darn shirt. But I ended up, when he wasn't looking, I, I grabbed the cap that was in the back of the wall. Notice it was missing. You see the, the back of his wall? He had a missing spot. That's where this one came at. But I think it had a mess up on it right here somewhere. It was one of his mess up hats. I tried to take his spot. I, I did a little video with him, but I guess the sound didn't the, the sound didn't come out. Yeah, and if you and, and here's the thing, if you ever go to Juan's, you better hope you wear an extra large or a large because if you're a big boy like me, he didn't have no 3X or 4X. So that's all you get. <laughs> so Ramon, if you can wear a large, it's yours, buddy. <laughs> A medium, yeah. I, I might have one of those too, Gina. I'll just have to look and see if I have a medium. That one's yours. Oh wait, I might have them right here. Hold on. Well, Gina, you're in luck. I got you a large, Gina. It looks like a medium. I went to Waco, and all I got was this Liberty Graphic shirts. Gina, it's yours. If you can wear a large, it's yours. Ramon, you can squeeze into it. I'd like to see it, though. If I really... It, let me see. Hold on. I may have another one that he gave me. I think these were his leftovers or something. And he felt sorry for me. And he didn't want me to leave empty handed. You're an extra sexy. <laughs> Let me see. And, it, and it's on printed on the next level shirt, too. So. Ramon, can you fit in an extra large? And I think this is a women's because it looks very small, but it says extra large, but I really think it's a women's extra large. It's a next level. 
But you know, for us guys that eat the tacos, we we can't fit in this stuff. But it was nice that he gave it to me, and it was a neat experience that I got to experience and actually go print. I've never printed with water base inks before. It's all plastisol. So it was a little weird. So when he says that it took me like 10, 10 times, he wasn't lying. He's got video of it, but <sighs> on what? On the the women's medium? Or the women's large? Or the ex it says women's extra large. Ramon, it's yours. You can tell Lola it's coming her way. Compliments of the Impossible Co. and Juan with Liberty Graphics. Let's see. Wait, there was two people in the video. Which one? I have to go back and watch it. But no, I, I Jimmy. Yeah, I tried. I told him, "Hey, you need to give me a three XL." But you know what? I think he was fresh all out or he didn't want to give me his good stuff because I tried to get me one. Like I said, I walked out with nothing. No, I didn't. I lie. I walked out with his hat. I saw it in the background. If you notice in the video, it's not up there no more. If you go look in his past videos, you see it up there. I mean, once I get going, I... I don't know. I, I mean, I like my logo, but I just got to, I don't know. I guess I got to figure it out once I get it. I mean, once I get it down, I'm going to make some shirts and I'll I'll be like those guys and get, do a giveaway with them and I'll hit you up because it's a hard to find for us bigger guys, the shirts that actually fit. Like when you bend over, you don't see Naga or something. You know what I'm saying? Zeno, what are you talking about? Which one? Zeno, I got this one going your way. A large. I think it's a, a unisex large. Did you not want that one? So perfect on this one? Okay, cool. I'm going to write your name on this one. Gina. This one goes to Gina. And Ramon, this one going to Lola, right? This next level, extra large, but it looks more like a medium. Cool. How was everybody's day today? What did y'all have doing? Well, what did y'all have going on today?
You welcome, Lola. Lola, your name's going in the bucket. Come on, you need to make some videos on your YouTube channel. Gina, how was that Houston weather today? Ramon, I don't want to hear that. You know, no. I know it was nice. Somebody made a, a, a meme where they showed the whole United States, and then right on Texas, they showed it like burning fire, flames. That's what it felt like today, especially in a hot warehouse where, where we're at here in Lubbock. It was 103, but inside the warehouse, it felt like 120. Gina says I melted 10 times. I think I melted 50 times. Jimmy, you did nothing today? Are you retired? Gina, hit me up. And Lola, hit me up with y'all's or where you want me to send this those two t-shirts on uh, at my email. Uh, be quiet. I don't want to hear it. Nice weather. Yeah, so when y'all get these, y'all can sport them. I went to Waco and all I got is uh, this Liberty t-shirt. Yeah, but Juan Juan is pretty cool. He he was he was down to earth. You know, when when y'all guys meet him, I know Ramon met him. I think Gina, you met him at the ISS show, right? Well, if you just joined, we're fixing to do the giveaway, so make sure you make a comment so I can put your name in the little box here. Oh, you only met them? You didn't see one? Really? <laughs> Raiders. Hey, you're going to have to go to Vegas now to see them Raiders. You remember the old school Raiders where it was scary to go to their games? Everybody, I mean, they probably still do. Everybody would dress up and spikes and everything. They probably banned all that. That's back in the day. Really? That's when you started watching them and getting into that? 
Back when I was a kid, um, yeah, don't mess with the Raiders, but back when I was younger, the what there was it, the eighty four Bears when they had um McMahon on there in the fridge. Dude, that I love the Bears. The eight well I think it is eighty four, eighty five Bears. I thought that was so awesome. What was in the eighties? The Raiders? Yeah, those were the days. Now it seems like everything is um how do they say politically politically correct, you know. Don't touch me, you can't slap me, you know. Everybody just played because it was football. Right. If even that. Gina, that was an awesome video. I mean, I just bought my sawgrass and I got the 400 and I'm barely learning on it. I mean, they sent me, you know what? Heat Press Nation sent me the, what is it? That subly, that subly vinyl. They sent me this stuff. I don't know if you can see it. What does that say? A sub. I think it says A sub. I think you can print on it and you're able to use it on, um, like on the cotton shirts. Well, I don't know if it's – let me see if I got that. My desk is a mess right now. But they say – I think it's that easy subly and that a subly mask. I think that way you can transfer it over. Uh, you know what? I think uh, – you know, I kind of kicked myself, but I really wanted to get the sawgrass. But I think for Christmas, when I get my bonus from work, I think I'm going to get me the 7710 and convert it. I think the thing that scared me the most was converting it. You know, but I think you can go to YouTube University and. See, that's what I thought, Ramon. I thought it was just printable vinyl. But I mean, I I got that. I bought that. When I first started out, I have that Canon inkjet. and. I got the dark and that Nina, I guess that Nina um, paper or something. That way you can print. But I, did, I really didn't like it. I didn't like the feel. Oh, with the lizards? I thought those caps came out awesome. You see, I was doing, what was it? Well, I did this one. I don't know if you can see it. But see, it's on these bottle openers, and I don't know if I really liked it because it says you can't get the white, but I thought it looked pretty cool. I don't know if y'all can see it. But it's got the eagle with the stars and the flag, but the white is just the color of the bottle opener. And then I got, what else did I do? Oh, I signed up with that JDS Industries. Oh my gosh, though, their, um, their shipping is outrageous. It's like, I, I, sorry about that. It's like, I got these patches, and I think these are the three by two patches to sub on. And I think it came in. Let's see. I think a 20 pack and those bottle openers because I wanted to try it. 
That alone cost me $23 for these and the bottle openers. Well, my total bill was like $48. So I called them up and I was like, are you telling me, oh, 25 pieces, that these 25 pieces and those bottle openers that came in a little small box cost me the same price as the shipping? And then she got to looking, well, I sent them an email and she got to checking on it and she goes, you're right. That's, that's weird. And they came from Dallas, the Dallas warehouse. And I've gotten a lot of stuff shipped from like Jiffy shirts, bigger boxes in the shipping. Well, it's free shipping because I order over $49 all the time. But I mean, I've gotten other stuff and the shipping just cost me like $10, $12. Yeah. Tell me about it. You know, when I went to San Antonio about what, about a month ago, I wish I would have just stopped by right there at Houston and picked up some stuff. But let's see. Is coastal business pretty good, Ramon? Yeah, I mean, they always got specials, but I noticed their specials. You got to, for small, you know, People like us, you always have to order like $200 or up, and then you get that free ship, and that's the only thing I hate about it. But, I mean, eventually, you know, hopefully if I start putting this out there and getting more, more orders for it, then, yeah, I'll have it. That's just the thing. I live in a small town. Lubbock's a small town, so we don't have like JDS or anything. The closest to me is Dallas. Yeah, I mean, I hate to have a lot of stuff in bulk because I barely started it. <laughs> Ramon, that's the way I am. Payday is home. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm looking, okay, what can I order to try now? It's payday. Have to wait. Or I'm going to see if there's any scooters to charge so I can go out and get some and, you know, try something new. Have one deliver it. Yeah, okay. You know, he might. He's a good guy. He might he might just do that. He's a grandpa now though. He's got he's busy with grandbabies. Or his grandbaby. You know what? There's five of y'all in here and five likes. I appreciate it. Oh, that ain't no joke. I've been there. Trust me, I know. And to this day, if you notice in his videos, he still sasses me about screening 10 times, you know, when I was trying to do the water-based ink. Now, I haven't done water-based ink, and what I'm waiting on is, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, he was going to San Diego. What is it? Hold on. One time he was driving and he did a live. Well, he asked a question. And I ended up winning some Matsui inks from him, you know, to make the different colors. Well, to this day, I still haven't bought that uh, Matsui. I guess there's a base that you use to mix these inks with because he literally... Well, he had them sent me the whole Matsui ink kit. And um, so I'm just waiting to practice on that. But I've never printed with the water basin. Oh, my God. It, I wish the video would have been able to come out because it was funny. It was really funny. But like I said, you know, I was I went there and we shot a video and everything on how to print those shirts, you know, where I went to Waco. But his audio didn't come out, so it was just one of those things that, you know, while we were shooting it, we were both joking around with it and everything, and I would forget things. Like, Ramon knows what he's talking about because they shot a video together, and and it's just like he gets you, and you crack up, and you lost what you were going to say. You're like your train of thought. You know, you lost it. But, yeah, I mean, to this day, he's still on his videos when I come and comment 
he still makes fun of me. The impossible took him ten times to um, coat the screen, you know, for the next press and everything. But it's it's all good. I had a I had a great time. His wife was really nice, you know, meeting <laughs> meeting them. But yeah, his his shop. It, it, he's got so much stuff in his shop. It just seems cramped, but he makes it work. It, it's just I don't know. That man's constantly working. And it's like while I was there, he had people constantly bugging him. And his wife got it the first time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Gina, you know what? Um, I know you probably you did the sublimation on the on those dog tags. Have you heard of this? Um, I don't know, Ramon. Are, are, you you said you have the seventy seven ten, right? Have y'all tried that um <clears throat> that dye press liquid? You know, to I guess it's some stuff you can sublimate. Uh, you spray it on, and you can sublimate on your, I guess your hard your hard surfaces like the those tiles that they sell at Home Depot. Let's see if I can find it. I, I want to try that too. I, I seen it and I was like, hmm. If you don't do it right, you can have the, well, yeah, I saw some of the videos and I, I saw some of the mistakes on there too. But I mean, it right on payday. Yeah, I know because it's like if you buy the kit, I think it's like seventy six dollars. Die press polygloss, die press spray. Yeah, don't buy it off of Amazon though. Go to the main website because Amazon is selling it like for where you normally buy it for thirty eight dollars. They're selling it for like fifty. Yeah, it's the it's this stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Y'all see it? She did a whole video of coding those um I mean, it says that it's going to be applied to household tools. So I thought, man, that's the, if if you can buy this and use it like on those tiles and make coasters out of it, that'd be a whole lot cheaper than spending, you know, 30 bucks on six tiles or coasters. But I don't know. They, they, just, they, they make it look so simple, but I know they do video edit. And I've seen them do a T-shirt too. I don't. I don't know. Hey, Gina, I wanted to ask you something. Um, I saw something that somebody was sublimating on a shirt. It was a dark shirt, so you really couldn't see it. But they took bleach and they sprayed it their T-shirt, and they said that the subly ink will not bleach out. So they let it out, sit out in the sun until. It got white, and then they threw it in the washer. And then when she pulled it out, it showed to be, you know, white. And then you could see the sublimation on there. Have you seen that? I 
I'm gonna have to try that easy subway. I might do it this weekend and make a video on it. Yeah, you need to go. I mean, I can't remember that lady's name. I've been really looking into like the sublimation part and everything. And that video just come up on one of my feeds and everything. Eddie Jr.'s in the house. Hey, Eddie, welcome to my live. Text the video to you? I will. I'll text it. I'll text you that deal if that's what you mean. Yeah, I'll have to go and find it and I'll text it to you. Or the link. Eddie Jr., your name's going in the pot. Not yet. Gina, stop. <laughs> yes, giveaway. I don't know if you drink Cokes or bottles, but we're giving away these bottle openers. No. <laughs> Ramon. No numbers. You'll never guess the number. That last giveaway was long. That thing was about two hours. I even asked him. I said, what time are you going with giveaway? Eight o'clock Eastern time. Okay, good. I'm going to do mine at eight. Yeah, you did. And this time, you know, you might get lucky and you might win. There's not very many people on here. But that's okay because everybody's a winner with the Impossible Co. Eddie Jr., what is it that you do? You screen print, heat press, vinyl. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, that is correct. One in seven chance. Now go hit that like button. I only see six. And, well, if you saw this live, I guess you are subscribed. Hit that bell notification. Screen print, embroidery, heat press, no YouTube channel yet. That's good. I mean, <clears throat> hey, I started out that way. Well, I didn't start out that way. I started out with me and my son. Well, my son has a business. He does the sand art. We fill up these sand bottles with different colored sands. And we do a lot of festivals. And I was like, man, I need to print out some shirts, you know. And I kept asking people, you know, because sometimes I would see some set up and they would print up their shirts, but then when I told them I just wanted two shirts, oh my God, they wanted to charge me an arm and leg for them. So I decided that while I was sitting there at the festival, I decided to look up YouTube and see see how hard it would it be to start my own deal. So we had a little bit of money saved up. So the first thing we ended up buying was a heat press and a hat press. And I made my son and me a shirt. <clears throat> and I started following Juan with Liberty Graphics, and I did um, uh, Sin with the Print Squad, and I found Rob Beats, and then through there, I met Zena, and I met all of y'all, so it's just, and then now, I mean, shoot, I do a lot of stuff. I've had this Cameo 2 forever when it first came out because we used to, my wife used to do um, pallet signs before they got real busy, or before Hobby Lobby started carrying all the all them pallet signs. Well, y'all lost. All of y'all lost. Rob Beats is in the house. Everybody lost now. Rob's here. You had a chance, but not no more. Sorry, Eddie. 
Yep, everybody lost. Rai, thank you for coming in on my live. We're doing a giveaway for these bottle openers. That's for me hitting 100 subscribers. Rai Beats, your name's going in the pot. Oop, wait. Oh, it fell down. No, here it is. I'm just playing. You'll probably throw my name out. Thanks, Ra. I really appreciate it. It, it. Coming from you. <laughs> I leave it on the floor, right? Hey, Ra, I got a question. Do you really think you're going to get that embroidery machine from Juan? I think you better take a U-Haul when you go to the ISS show up there in Fort Worth. That's the only way, bro. Yeah, like I stole this hat from me. I was telling everybody that when I went to Waco, I wanted to stop by and see him. Which one did he sell a while back? No, but I was telling everyone that if you remember in his videos in the very back, he had this hat up there. I think it's one of his mess ups. It was on the wall. Yeah, I had to take it. I said, I'm getting something else besides a shirt. He never missed it. To this day, he still hasn't seen it. Oh, I don't know, Ramon. I, I got dibs on that cameo. My my two's about to give out, so. Right? That thing was long. I know which one you're talking about. I'm like, oh, my. I don't know how it fit in that garage. It, with that sucker in there, I don't know how he had his press and everything else, his screen printing machine. I don't. His place is small. Ramon, you have a fifteen head, or you just have a two? Gina, I don't doubt that. I, I bet that thing ended up in his bedroom. That's why his wife told him he needed to sell it. Yeah, it, it was. It wasn't a bad video. Yeah, but even now he has two Cam 5s, and what's that other machine that he's given to Rai? The Tajima? Rai, you're already in the giveaway just by being here. You already won. You win everything. <laughs> Y'all ready for the giveaway? I was waiting for more people to come in, but I guess this is everybody. Y'all pretty lucky. Y'all don't, don't win. All right. Am I missing anybody? Everybody's here. Seven people. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. There's eight in here, so somebody left. So if you don't have your name in here, you better say something on the screen. Very good odds tonight. Good thing I'm not giving away an embroidery machine. Tell me when to stop. Right, I need to take your deal with the air gun and spray it in and make a hole. All right. First person out of the box. No way.
Y'all see that? No way, right? Yeah, that's what I said. All right, right. All right, who's next? Right, you get the. The 100 subscriber winner bottle opener. I can't believe that. I told you, y'all lost as soon as Rye came in. The left <laughs> leftovers. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. Lola Wells. That's what you've won. Waldo, Waldo, where you been, Waldo? Does the, everybody mind if I put Waldo's name in there? Yeah, right, whatever. Waldo, your name's going in there, Waldo. Everybody said it's okay. All right, it's in there. Tell me when to stop. I know, right? You need to go buy a lottery ticket. All right. Gina said stop. Oh my goodness. Don't be mad, guys. Waldo. Waldo, that's not fair. But they said put your name in there. No, <laughs> right. You didn't win. You already won once. Okay. The best for last. Can y'all see it? It's kind of purple. Here we go, guys. Tell me when to stop. Tina, that's not fair. You already got a shirt. All right. Okay. Eddie Jr. You the winner. You get this. Thank God, Cheryl. Was Cheryl still in here? Okay, so guys, if you want something tonight, send me your info or your mailing address to. Is that right? No. Hold on, give me a second. So, guys, send me your info. No, don't do that. Send it to me on there. I'm not going to write it down, Gina. 
You making me work? All right, I guess I'll write it down. So if anybody wants to send Gina something, send it to Gina Gill, P.O. Box 1085, Tambo. Wait, I thought you lived in Houston, or is Tambo a suburb of Houston? Yeah, speaking of which, that's, I don't know. Right, I come whenever I enter your contest, you pick my name and you just throw it out. Sorry, he wasn't present. But you can come and enter my contest and your name's the first one I pick. So congratulations to Eddie Jr., Waldo, who just came in. He's lucky too. He's just like Rye, always winning Juan's contest or something. Lola, and last but not least, Mr. Rye Beats. 100. He got the special one. This one actually says 100 subscribers. Yeah. Well, no, Waldo, I haven't just let me hold on. Let me go check. My goodness. But guys, I appreciate y'all coming. I appreciate the love that y'all showed me. And like I said, oh, I got, speaking of which, Gina, somebody hit me up because um, I did one of those Tumblr deals for like under 25 bucks and that thing got like 2,000 views. But somebody hit me up about um, reviewing one and I told them that if they sent me one, I would review it and then I would give it away. And they were on board with it, but yes, right. I'll be raffling off points to Gma. I'll just have to go get it. Well, thank you, Thrift Beast. You have a good night. I, I try not to keep y'all long. Sorry I was on here late. I was trying to win something off of somebody else's channel, but I didn't win. I guess I gotta have right beats. I got to put down my name as Right Beats 2. Because, man, that guy's lucky. Yes, I got it. <laughs> the other one is rigged. Yes. You should have left Right Beats' name on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> well don't worry thrift beast I'll, I'll i'm sure i'll do some more giveaways heat transfers you want some heat transfers no I, I won't give away heat transfers i might give away something else though i'm not as popular as heart and hustle yet so whenever somebody hits me up and says, hey, you want to team up with some heat transfers? Yeah, it wasn't my giveaway. <clears throat> right, we're not mean. You're just so lucky. You win everything. Right, right off the bat, your name, I, I don't know how I did that. Right out, the first one out, Rob Beat. Waldo, you do have to do your 100 sub. You got a lot of stuff. You can give away some Plastisol ink or something in that garage. Otherwise, you're going. it's going to... Yes, a new car. That sounds good. New car. I need a new car. My son needs a new car. No, deer heads. I don't want no deer head. I didn't see no deer heads in your garage. I'll tell you what people want, what they really, really want, what they want, what they really, really want is some of that plastic saw ink you got in your garage. 
or screens or squeegees. People that are starting out like Cheryl, she could use some squeegees. I need to get some tape on this parchment paper. See, if we was like Ryan had the hookups, so we could go away good stuff. But you know, I do want to thank Ryan for giving me his code to NorCal. I order all my stuff from NorCal. They've been really, really good to me. Just wish they were a lot closer. Oh, um, somebody hit me up about doing, I guess they're updating some, one of their tumblers or they're fixing to start selling them on, on Amazon and they sent me it here. I'll see if I can find it. I don't know. They sent me an email, but it might be a prank too. You know how you always get those. Hey, if, um, I send you 500 shirts and I pay for it up front, will you screen print it for me? But you got to send me your PayPal information. So it might have been one of those. Let me see if I can find it. I'll, I'll show it to you. I mean, I thought it looked pretty cool, but I mean, if they're willing to give me one to do one, a review on, and I can give it away, why not? Let me see. Where is it at? I hate it when your phone updates. And you know, it messes everything up on your screen. Got it. Got it, right? Let's see. They want to send me this. Can you see it? They want me to do a review on that. I told them I would if they sent me, if they allowed me to give it away. They said that it goes live on November 23rd on um, November 23rd. Mary Poppins times with the kid on Netflix, Cheryl. That's a good movie. I'll watch that. It's a good one. Pretty much, I guess. That it works, uh, go buy it. You know, but if it gives me something to give away to y'all, why not? What you need to do, I do a review and have them be a sponsor of the live raffle giveaway. You see, Ry, I think that's what I need to do. I think next time I, I just need to tell them, you know, what do I get in return of doing the review? You know, like, what would they sponsor just like them sponsoring it or them shipping it out to them see i don't know i mean if i do advertise i guess they're giving me that that, that um that turner i mean i guess that's what they're saying in return I guess these are the, how they say that, uh, the things you learn as you're growing on your YouTube channel. That's what I'll do. I mean, 
I'm still waiting if they send it. It might have been one of those ones trying to get me to send them my address, but good thing I have a P.O. box. I'm not paying for it. It's not coming out of my pocket. If they want to send it to me, they can send it to me. The only thing I'd probably pay for is the shipping or, you know, I think that's the only thing is if they win, then they ship it to them. I think that's what I need to do next time. But see, that's the thing that I told them, Waldo, is I said, if I do the review, I won't be honest with it. I'm not going to sit there and sugarcoat it and say, oh, it's the best thing in the world. And. Seps Graphics used my Forever Subly Flex video on there. As long as I keep their info up, I get freebies. That's awesome, Gina. All right, Ryan. Well, thanks for stopping by and giving me some love and showing me. And thanks for being the first winner out of my first ever live. So if everybody knows, Ry came in. First name out of the hat was his name. Zena, you can't. This tape sucks right now. Thing. I just need to get a rubber band. And I don't have a rubber band. Zena, you will you will have to go live. All right, Zena, good night. Guys, I'm gonna get off of here. Thank y'all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Waldo, Cheryl, everybody that came on here on my live, thank you so much. Ramon, One Nation, one, that's right. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for the love. Ramon, I'll be getting in touch with you, uh, sending you my logo and seeing if you can make me a hat and we'll hook it up. And Waldo, thanks for coming, waiting for your giveaway. Maybe Rob Beats can win something off of your um, live. Thank y'all again. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe. Like the channel, hit the bell notification, and thank y'all for supporting me. And just for supporting me, I'll support y'all. Thank y'all for showing me love. We'll see y'all later. Good night, everyone. Good night, Jimmy. Good night, Cheryl.